Hello, my name is Ricardo and I work on the Visa Developer team as Director of Community. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a project in Sandbox. So let's get right into it. Log in to your account and you'll be taken to your dashboard. Once you're there, click on Add New Project. Now, if this is your first project, you'll see Create Your First Project. The next page will ask for details. The first thing you want to do is enter a project name. So let's call this Visa Developer Tutorials. The next field is the project description. You don't have to add this, but it's a great place to provide some information about your use case. Next, we'll select an API. I'm going to select Visa Transaction Controls. Now, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, you'll select one of these two options. So let's go ahead and choose the default option, Generate a CSR for me. Then click Create Project. That'll bring on a pop-up message reminding you to save your certificate private key. Now, we're going to download and copy the certificate private key. Keep in mind, you can only download this key once when you create a project. So remember to save your private key. Great. Now, after you've downloaded and saved the private key, click on the confirmation and continue. At this point, you'll be redirected to the project you created, and that's it. Now, if you want to learn more about the summary of APIs in your project, just click on this drop down menu and you'll see the full list right here. Now let's briefly go over what's included in your project dashboard. Let's take a look at the navigation menu on the left here. Summary view provides a list of APIs that are part of the Visa Transaction API. You can click on API Reference to learn more about the API and its code with code descriptions. You can also test code with Code Explorer Sandbox Testing. To view more attributes, click on Show Child Attributes. Keep in mind, you can also delete the API from the project if you don't need it, although it's not recommended. By the way, you'll also have an option to add an API that works well with Visa Transaction Controls simply by adding API in the top right. So what about credentials? The credentials include the user ID and password. This is used in SOAP UI. If credentials are expired, refer to the support page for information. Now, let's take a look at test data. First, it's important to know that when you create a test app in our sandbox, you'll receive test data in your project dashboard. The test data for your Visa Developer application is available in the dashboard under Test Data in the left navigation. The test data in your dashboard will ensure that you are using mock data that's been provisioned for specific scenarios. Basically, you'll have one table per API that's split into the request and response sections. The values on the request section are meant to be populated in the payload with the intention of obtaining results specified in the response section. Sandbox data is limited to what's provided in the test data tables and is not integrated to the Visa network. Keep in mind, you cannot test real data in Sandbox. All right. Now, let's say you want to add other users to your project. Start by clicking on Users on the left tab of the dashboard. Then at the top right corner, click on Invite Users. You can invite users with the type of user role you want to assign. The user I've invited to the project will now receive an email prompt to log into the dashboard and accept the invitation. That's it. The user is now invited to your project. And finally, you can find sample code in your app dashboard, like here, for example, PHP sample code. And that wraps it up for this tutorial. If you need additional guidance about anything we've covered, you can visit our community page anytime to ask questions or contact us directly at developer at visa.com. In the meantime, be sure to check out the other tutorials in our Visa Developer series. Thanks for watching.